Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yooka Throne Ultra. This time we're going to jump in again as good old hand, my lad. Uh, just because, for one, I want to see if we can unlock some of the skins for this guy. But also, too, uh, we have a new thumbnail art for this hand and it's the best thing I've ever seen in my goddamn life. So it needs to be seen by everyone. Let's see what we do for these again. Um, slap the purple dragon to death with active and um, kill three IDPD vans using that throne bot. Okay. So, let's give that a go, shall we? Let's jump on in. We start off with the easiest golden grenade launcher, I think it is. Uh, if I remember correctly, we can grab and smack people. So, I have been told that I was using this slightly wrong last time. Apparently, with the higher HP enemies, you can, like, double tap to be able to, like, release and um, not pull them all the way towards you, which is definitely good knowledge to know. But for the smaller enemies, obviously, I can just keep doing this. Obviously, I can still do it, but like that guy there, I can just sort of press it again to release them. But it's, it's good for like this, as you can see, being able to just absolutely decimate all of these walls. Good stuff. Is that the shotgun or shotgun? Okay, it's a shotgun. I'd, I'd, I'd like to take the shotgun, please. I think sh sucking people in plus shotgun is going to be really good. Um... So let's not take Throne Butt this time and try and go for the dragon. Uh, we'll take Gamma Guts just in case we pull anything too close to us. You like that look? <laughs> it's pretty fun to like drag an enemy towards you and then shotgun it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm sort of finding it more effective to use now because we can do this sort of thing. Yeah, it, it works really well if you use it like that. Before, I was just basically using it almost entirely incorrectly. So, now that I have a better understanding of how it works, it's feeling far more effective. Um, and as you can see, it seems really kind of overpowered, actually. Uh, we'll take impact wrists, of course, because it's just amazing. I also like the fact that with the throw and stuff, you can, with this pull, you can kind of like throw them around a little bit. It's quite fun. I was hoping I could destroy some walls here. And I say I can get some some quite good distance here to destroy walls. Good, good. And enemies that are a bit troublesome like that guy work pretty well for this too. Hehehe. <laughs> yeah, I love this. Adding impact wrists onto it just makes it all the more fun. Beautiful stuff. Nice and easy. Um. We'll take a bit of strong spirit here, and I think this is the area where we start going dragon floor, isn't it? Yeah, dude, this is crazy good. I'm really liking this. Oh, dude, let's not uh, lose our extra HP, extra life, sorry, already. I kind of find it funny you can drag chests towards you as well. That's nice. But it allows us to, like, stay in relative safety and just kind of pull enemies around. As I'm currently doing. And obviously, destroy walls in the meantime as well. The destroying walls part of it is probably the strongest thing about it, I think. Because obviously, this is good. Uh, the damage is good, but it falls off. Why can't I sh grab that guy? The damage is good, but it will fall off. Need to stop doing that, good sir. I'll take the Morpho Ray for now, I think. Rather than the shotgun, I think that'd be pretty good. Almost quite close there. Oh god, that guy didn't die when I did that. We got an inverted floor here, which I wasn't expecting. I guess I'll go for it, why not? It's a bit of a risk, but it's a fun risk. Uh, we'll take Tough Shell as well for some more... Protection here. And throne-wise, is there anything we want to take? We'll go with the throne of protection. That's always useful. Be careful of all of these guys. I see you, Sniper. I know you fire explosive shots now as well. Oh, 
fuck! I pulled this guy's walls. Me, no, 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 stop. <laughs> that was close. I kind of didn't let go of him in time. That was almost very close. Got level six out of this. Um, I guess I'll take this. A little bit of ammo and HP there. That was scary. Right. Um, can we still get to the dragon floor here? Maybe we can't. No, we can't. Okay, with the inverted, you can't. That's fine. I should have taken Thrun, but then I guess... Hell... Hell's Bells. Oh, no, wait. Here we go. Here we go. So, we just basically have to do this... Um, where So, we first of all have to survive, obviously, until we get to um, the boss. That's the biggest thing for us here. Um, but then we have to just slap him, not kill him with anything else. Or is it just finish him with a slap? It might just be finish him with a slap. I'm not liking how we're doing with our uh, weapons right now. This Morpho Ray is kind of trash for damage. And all these enemies are scaring the hell out of me right now. All these laser gimps. Why is there so many of these laser fucking snakes? Getting on my nerves. Explosive slugger, that's better. Yeah, it might end up just being killing the dragon. But that's risky, because like, yeah. Right. Dude, these goddamn snake fucks. Okay, all of that's dead. Almost died there. No thank you, big boy. Okay, these guys are attacking each other, which I didn't expect. Okay. Uh, Thrum Butt is here, but we don't want that right now. Uh, we'll take Last Wish just in case. We'll take Flame on this bad boy. Right, so I guess I'll use a good amount of Slugger Shots to start with, and then we'll move over to using... Um, we'll move over to using shots from... Uh, well, not shots, but using our right click, I guess. Fucking hell. Okay. Um, so the right click's not doing anything currently, so... Oh, dude, this is going to be impossible. Like, actually impossible. <laughs> I can barely get near him! How the hell am I meant to slap the boy? Dude, this is so difficult. I don't even know when he's near dead either. That's the worst thing. Like, I'm doing like four damage a hit. Like, I'm going to keep firing at him. I'm just going to kill him. Like, I'm just going to kill him with the, the gun, aren't I? I mean, I'm guessing that's why it's difficult. That's why it's a skin unlock, obviously. Still, it's a little... A little jank. Oh, I didn't realize he went under the lava. Kind of interesting. My god, this is impossible! Ah, what? I dragged him through the ground! This is so difficult. I have no idea when he's near dead. And he keeps fucking hitting me.
How do I know when you're nearly dead, fella? I need to see your health bar or something. I mean, he's dropping health fairly regularly, but it feels like every time he drops health, he then just spews another crap load of fire at me. Like that. Dude, stop it with the flame breath. Are you nearly dead or what? How much health do you goddamn have? Also, how did I deal 24 damage there? Sometimes I feel like I deal loads of damage, but other times I'm dealing 4. This is very frustrating. <laughs> I'm getting there, but... He's not making it easy on me. Dude, that, that breath attack is so difficult to dodge. We got him. We did it. Oh my god. That was an absolute pain. But we did it. <laughs> right, now we've just got to get the throne butt and destroy three IDPD vans with it. That's next up on the docket for us. Oh, dude. This is way too many of the card guys. Splinter Bomb. Oh my god, these card guys are just nuts. There's just so many shots to think about. Flare Shotgun. Eh. Explosive on my explosive shotgun. Hell yes. Hoping for the best for this guy. I'm doing reasonably well at dodging him so far. Not the best, but... There you go. Yeah, not too bad at all. Level 8. We're coming. We're looking for Throne Butt now, so let's go Patience. Try and get it. How much health do these things have? I never remember. A fucking lot. I know that. Okay. The thing won't last us forever, but it's doing a good job for now. There's about four shots to kill the big, big teddy bears. There's so many of the bears up there. No way. I'm out of ammo. Fuck. Good. Some ammo from that guy. The flame's helping a lot with some of these guys. Okay, stressful, but we got there. Where's a rifle? Hmm. I'm going to take the Wazer rifle and see what it is. <coughs> Damn it, no throwing, but... Um... Can we pause? Oh, okay. It's like a constant beam. That's really cool. I'm pretty useful. Not doing a ton of damage, 
for the ammo it's using, but it's it's consistent and it's piercing, so. That's kind of nice. I like that. Maybe not worth being having it cursed, but. Aha, you can't kill me with melee, you fools. I mean, you can, but not easily. Super heavy grenade launcher. We could take that instead of this. Did want to go through there, but... So no thrown, but sadly. Um, it was a bit of a shame. Definitely take trigger fingers, though. Both of these use explosive ammo. Did not, did not know that. Right, let's try this out. Let's try this out. Now then, boss man. How are you this fine day? I don't say I feel like we're gonna run out of ammo pretty quick and we have run out of all of our ammo very fast. Okay, we got through him just about. But it was a little close. We got our level ultra, nice. All damage you deal to an enemy is increased depending on how close you are to the enemy. Damage buff is higher in inverted areas. Walls contain swarm bolts, inverted portals. In inverted portals heal you for 5 HP, okay. Can have two hands out at the same time, can punch projectiles out of existence. You can have three hands while in inverted areas. And allows your hands to collect p rads and pickups. Hands leave a trail that speeds you up and slows enemies, including projectiles. Hand is faster and, um, the hand is even faster when in bad areas. Ooh, this is tricky, this one. This one seems interesting. We currently very much do not have enough, uh, ammo to, to kill this guy effectively, so... I need that ammo, god damn it. Can't be placing ammo out there. Stop giving me HP, I need ammo, fuck. It's gonna take goddamn forever, yeah. I mean, that's what happens when you don't give me enough of anything to do anything. Ooh, wait. Kill dying here might mean I can get thrown butt this time. We'll go with absorbing pause, thrown butt, lovely. Right, that is one of them done. Definitely need some better weapons. Our weapons are kind of trash for uh, clearing loops. Right, I'm just going to... Fist the hell out of every enemy in existence here. Remember, we don't have any, like, revives or anything right now, because we died, so... Yeah, there's a cursed weapon here. Frost Axe. It's not ideal, but it's better than the, uh... The Mega Explosive that we've got right now. Okay, um... 
Alkaline Saliva is pretty good stuff. Second Stomach. Scarier Face. Tough Shell. Plutonium Hunger. I'm not look liking our chance of survival right about now. Yeah. God damn it, we were two uh, thingies off of getting that there. Um, two vans off of getting that, but it just didn't work out. Let's see what our um, alternate skin we got there is. Oh, that one's so cool. I love that. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that one. Good stuff. And we started with the uh, golden shovel. Is good stuff. I like that. Good old big hammer to swing ding ding at every enemy in sight. Fortunately, we've got one enemy or two enemies just chilling over here. I'm going to try and get trigger fingers as soon as I can if I'm going to keep using this. Um, we'll take throw and butt again early because then we can just use it on our way. Dude, it even like changes the, the look of the fist of the hand. That's so nice. I love this. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, I'm really liking this alt skin. I really want to try and get the next one, though. So we've got to do what we did last time. Basically build up as much survival as we possibly can. I mean, this will carry us for a little while, the ability to punch enemies. I mean, like, just look at that. I love the destroying walls thing. That ultra we took last time probably wasn't the best idea of all the ultras we could have taken, but still, we'll definitely take impact wrists to increase our um, punchiness and destroy some walls here and there as well. Impact wrist is one of those ones where I don't actually know how strong it is. I just know that it's fun. Like, I think it's quite strong, but I think it's mainly just fun. Beautiful stuff. Uh, so we definitely want to take Strong Spirit here. We want to make sure we have as much survival as possible here. Only thing about Impact Wrist is you end up killing enemies miles away from you and missing out on potential rads. Amazing, look at that speed. We're able to clear areas with this fist. Because you can just, like, wipe your way through walls and stuff. It's amazing. It's like a speedrunner's dream having this. And then Impact Wrist is even better because it just clears up even more walls and gives you that extra damage. It's just beautiful. It's simply beautiful. Uh, We'll take Second Stomach, I guess. I'm not going to take a crown this time around, I don't think. For some reason, you can't smelee the dead assassins. Like, the, the not dead assassins, you know what I mean, the faking dead assassins. Try and take care of these guys. Oh my god, look at the chain reactions, baby. Yeah, no thanks, big fella. I think he has 300 health, this guy, doesn't he? Yeah, it seems to be about 300. Beautiful. Yeah, this area's going to be a little bit messy, but we'll get through it pretty easily, I think. We'll be able to destroy the walls down there like that was rather nice. Whenever I've got a barrage of shots coming at me, I need to remember that I can just... Uh, swing my melee to avoid it for the most part. Cool. Through there as well. Lovely bit of ammo. Thank you. And take tough shell. Easy. 
Really, I should just be swinging my melee at all times, thinking about it now. Just that extra bit of protection against projectiles, and then if anything gets close, it takes some extra damage. I am, however, going to just toxic pistol that guy that's carrying the fucking car. I'm well, not like any of my adversaries to be carrying cars, thank you very much. Luckily we have the rage to get through him anyways. Beautiful. The path down here. Nope, it's not. Look at that! It just just destroys any amount of wall. It's it's really, really nice. Like another guy carrying a car over there. If you're carrying a car, you get the pistol treatment. Otherwise, it's fisting all the way. Fisting is my passion now. I'm missing out on quite a lot of rads, I think, by just, like, not being close to enemies most of the time. Heavy revolver there will be helpful. Fucking die. Thank you. <laughs> Getting on my bloody nerves. Through here we go. Cracking on our heavy pistol there, why not? Got a little hunter coming in here, so just gotta be ready for him. Dude, I fucking deflected the car. Did you see that? That was amazing. Right, do be careful because I don't have a I don't currently have a what's it called um revive. Luckily second stomach is insane healing, so not particularly problematic. Rhino skin is a good one to take here. I think I'll take the ultra where I can have two hands out at once, maybe. But destroying bands quicker. Ugh, so much webbing. Nope, that's where we started. Cool, nice and easy. Keeping our ammo on top of things as well at the moment. Not had any problems with that yet. Okay, nothing up there. Is this big boy bat floor? I never remember if it's like two floors down or one floor down. I think it's one floor down, so I think it should be this floor. Yeah. Here come that boy. He should not be a uh, hard kill though, I wouldn't think. Yeah, nice and easy. Almost level 8. Heavy Revolver is a really nice addition to this. I'm liking it a lot. Keeping enemies away with a punch while being able to shoot them with a Heavy Revolver is really nice. Obviously, the Heavy Revolver does use a considerable amount of ammo. So it's not foolproof, this tactic. Good enough. Lovely. Come on, ammo. Right, let's try and punch these guys away. Beautiful stuff. Um, What's going to keep us alive longer? Probably, like, Bloodlust, right? Mini Plasma Minigun. Keep them guys just off of me is very nice. Dude, the knockback from this throne butt um, power up is just so goddamn nice. Being able to politely tell an enemy to absolutely fuck off is very useful. A little bit worried about my ammo going into the uh, throne fight, though, here.
Oh, that's an enemy. Fuck you. Goddamn stupid things. Lots and lots of cursed things here. We're back up to full ammo now, so we should be okay mostly. We'll see how this goes. We are on level 8 coming down here, though, which is not great. Right, let's see how this goes. Shouldn't be too bad, I hope. If we things start getting too hairy, switch over to my melee weapon. I'd like the ammo, please. There you go. Good, good, good. Okay, right. Um, probably want to take this. Could be a little tricky. Just don't die to this bad boy. The knockback's kind of annoying on this guy, to be honest, but we need all the damage we can get. Right, come on, you've got to be nearly dead, my, my guy. Oh my god, he's taking forever to die, fuck's sake. There you go, finally. No ultra quite yet. Now, having the knockback thing, whatever it's called, in this stage should mean we do a pretty good job here. Ah, I don't, I don't like the insane amount of um, enemies that, that just spawned. Right, quickly just let me take care of you guys and then fist the truck. Cool. That's one truck dead. Okay, so this time... Wait. Wait, is this a different one based on... Wait, what the hell? This is, a, this is different, right? This isn't the same one as last time. Um... Fa like, fiery hands, more fire damage, homing fire, even more fire damage. <laughs> While in inverted areas, uh, inverted portals. Okay, interesting. Um, can I have two hands at the same time? Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. There it is. Apparently we did three bands. I, I feel like I only did two, but there you go. We're just going in absolute fisticuffs right now. Mad shit. Should have taken the inverted magnet, really, to be honest. There was a big fiery boy over here. Yep, there you go. <laughs> that is very enjoyable to see. Oh, wait, another one of you. Dude, I like this. You can basically loop with just the hands with this guy. They're that strong. Impact wrist is helping a lot, I will say, but like, still. Slash a razor. Yeah, fuck off. No thanks. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, just the absolute decimation. I'm liking the spiral eraser. That's pretty fun. Inverted portal, good, good. Oh my god. 
This is so good. I love the playing as this character. This ultra is way better than the other one I took with you get the, getting the double fists. It's a lot of fun. Just absolutely wham bam this every single thing that shows its face to me. Oh, we got another mom in here. I wouldn't have expected that. She is electric, I guess? I don't know what she is. No, she's still poison, I think. YVs, hello. Alright, this is where we unlock, obviously, golden weapons. So try and get as many as we can. I like the fact that my fists destroy projectiles as well. That's very, very nice. Can you guys police just chill out for a bit? <laughs> Getting a bit crazy up in here. Good old golden crossbow, love that. Easy. Rinsed. I haven't fired in so long. But who needs to? Why would I ever need to fire? Even like getting hit with with second stomach, I'm having such a good time of like being able to heal back up quickly. I don't really need to worry about getting hit all too much to be honest. It's like it happens, but it's not like super detrimental. Just keep pushing him back. He can't even shoot. What a goof. Got him. Forgot about these things. Whatever it was, it's dead now. <gasps> that bus hit me. Oh no. Okay, there's some shenanigans going on in here. While I'm, like, like while I'm hit using my fists while I'm hitting things, I can just walk through walls. Like, look at this. Bye! <laughs> like, as long as I'm using them, I can just keep punching and keep going through walls. I see you still summoning things. Not of any real concern to me. I love all the, like, dirt strike patches from all the impact wrists people flying all over the place. Who's left? One of you over here, by the sounds of it. Yeah. Little scallywag, I got you. Oh, god damn. Yeah, it destroying projectiles is so good. Nice. Another one bites the dust. You get out of here, mister. I need to change, uh, like, grab a new crown. I've not had the opportunity in a little while. Need some healing game. Come on. We would like some healing, please. Oh, come on now. Where's the healing at? Also, where's my throne portals? I'm not finding any of those at the minute. It's annoying. I kind of need one. What weapons we got going on here? Uh, the Ghetto Blaster. Seems interesting. I'll take the Ghetto Blaster. Why not? We're not really using weapons at the minute. Ah, bugger. <laughs> I, I knew it was going to happen eventually because I didn't have healing. But there you go. That was a lot of fun. Um, we got ourselves a few new gold weapons and we got ourselves another skin. Let's actually go and see what the skin is, shall we? Because the last one's pretty cool. This one could be even better. Okay, this one's 
not as my favorite because it's more IDPD focused. I like this one the most, but that one's still cool. Yeah, nice. I feel happy about that. Either way, hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one.